Hey, what's up, Reddit? Um, I just picked up this uh, set of two player sticks from Easy Get on Amazon. It was like 60 bucks, 65 bucks. Um, I think you can get like a one player set for like 35, um, but I opted to pay a little more based on the Amazon reviews and the, um, the fact that the buttons all lit up. Um, so I made a quick prototype, but I wanted to just kind of make a little video to show how easy it was to put all this stuff together. Um, as you can see, uh, the kit itself comes with, um, the kit I got came with two of these joysticks, um, eight of the, of the big buttons. I have two of them set up on either side as like pinball style, uh, buttons, and then a smaller, uh, set of like start select buttons or one player start coin button whatever you want to use that's what I'm using it for right now um, so to actually put the kit together um, is really really simple uh, it comes with two of these guys which I use the screw holes to mount them um, the smaller buttons are um, come they have like white rings and the bigger ones have the, the, the black screw rings but it's pretty simple. Um, they connect the same way. Two of these, again, uh, eight of these of each color. Um, the harnessing is, is really sweet, actually. Uh, they have these nice little crimped ends on here, and they all actually have little pop locks. So if you want to take stuff back off later, you can uh, move this little boot here and just push the little button, and it'll slide right back off. Um, so to connect it, I mean, it's real simple, like just a push of four of these little um, leads just like that and then it's already got the uh, the three wire harness that goes right into the encoder board that it comes with so the encoder just plugs I mean it's that simple and then uh, when you plug in the, um, the USB serial cord it comes with Two of these big long serial cords, which is nice because I can have the the controller kind of in front of me um, on the couch, and it'll reach all the way to the TV. Um, but when you plug in this this guy, and we'll plug the other end in, as you can see, the LED starts working right away, and uh, the button is um, pretty pretty straightforward um, the controller the joystick controller is really easy to um, there the only thing that's confusing about it is it has two five pin slots this one's actually a five pin USB this is the one that the, the analog stick goes in um, but once that's in uh, there's a little ring so you can put on so you don't have to look at the controls once you like mounted in the wood and then the ball just screws on uh, if I can screw it there we go um, and then there's like a little flathead on the back you just hold that you can tighten the ball so that it doesn't unscrew while you're playing um, that said uh, the the encoder board that it comes with is um, 12 buttons plus a bunch of you can use just uh, two pin buttons instead of uh, the three which are for like the LED uh, they have a, um, a second signal on there but or uh, a full hotline and then um, ground um, these are just high low um, and you can do things it has like what is this auto clear turbo mode so you can have some reset buttons if you want them I'm not using them currently um, but it's pretty easy so to um, program the um, controls is like not it's not hard at all um, there are two uh, different files that you have to edit for the uh, Neo Geo emulator and then the uh, MAME controls is actually done inside of the MAME GUI in the emulator which is um, it took me actually a couple times to get it right uh, the first time I got it wrong I actually had to go back and delete the entire file and remake it because um, because of the error that I made wouldn't actually fix it if I reinstalled um, 
So here I'm just using my uh, my arcade controller on the uh, TV here. Let's go over to the we'll come back to Neo Geo in a minute here, but here's the MAME system. To edit MAME, really simple. Just pick a game, go and do once you get into the game, um, you'll open the GUI with the tab on the keyboard. Yeah, and you need a keyboard just for the initial setup and then you can you don't have to use it after that. But once you open tab, um, it'll be two different it'll be two different um, input versions. So I use the input version to specifically map keys for like pinball games so that I can use the pinball uh, buttons that I showed on the controller earlier. But if you just go to the input general, um, all you're gonna do is scroll down to where like player start all this stuff is and you want to put it into so first player start is on my j1 which is joystick one and then i just happen to have my start button mapped to button six um but all you're going to do is when you first set this up it's all keyboards or all keyboard keys so you're going to hit your enter button on your keyboard uh, for the select, which I've already changed it um, to the A button. But when you hit that button, it's going to um, give you this little thing, and you're just going to tap the button that you want, and it's going to be okay. I just changed it to Joy Button 7. I don't actually want it to be Joy Button 7, I want it to be Joy Button 6. So if you tap it and then tap it again, it'll be it'll add both of them, so you can have multiple buttons. So, like for pinball, I have it so that it's um, my left flipper and the A button are both, um, are both work for the pinball games, but, um, on the other games that those buttons aren't used, so I don't have it working that way. Um, to, to clear it out, um, you just hit the button and then, um, two taps to the right on the analog stick will reset it to none. Do not do that <laughs> on the, um, the up here where it says UI select this one if you hit it on UI select and you leave it at none you can't edit any of the controls anymore because you can't select which button you're editing so you got to make sure you don't edit that one or you got to go in and delete the default file and and then reinstall it uh, but for this one I just want the one player start to be um, the start button six um, I've also set it up when you first come in um, the UI cancel is set up to the escape on the keyboard. I set it up to, like most of the other emulators, when you hit the start and select at the same time, um, it'll exit out. So um, I use start and select to go back, same here, and then it'll exit the emulator the same way. So now I'm gonna edit the, uh, the Neo Geo settings. Um, the Neo Geo settings are actually done through um, Editing the individual config files, you can do it through the Raspberry Pi or the RetroPie setup. I do it through um, the terminal or the um, basic the command line. So I'm going to exit out. Um, if you notice, the folder that I'm in is opt RetroPie configs. Um, there are two folders that we're going to have to or two files that we're going to have to edit. Um, the first one is in um, the FBA. It is the FBA 2X config. Uh, that's the one you want to edit. So in here um, is all the default settings for the Neo Geo. So I can get a little closer so you can see it better. Um, all the keyboard codes, and then down here is the joystick. You're gonna want to map the joystick ones to whatever you use from that. You can see that a JS test backslash dev input um, JS zero. That's gonna give you um, a way to test your keyboard or your your controller and figure out which buttons are mapped to what. Um, I have my A button mapped to zero, B is one, X is two, Y three, left right, um, start select all that. Um, and then if you keep scrolling down in the file, you can add second player um, inputs and controls. So you got to go in and do that map. Um, it's very important for for the uh, the FBA emulator, either if you're using FBA Next or the FB Alpha um, emulator as your default. And the other file you need to edit is in the Neo Geo folder. 
It's the uh, Retro Arch Config for Neo Geo. So up here, this is the other edit that you make, um, including all of your input player one, B button, Y button, A button, X button, L and R. And again, this is the same off of the user map that you get from that JS test that I just showed you. Um, and again, for, for player two, since I'm making two of the controllers with the same button layout, um, it's just going to use uh, a second, it's going to use the J, JS1 instead of JS0 for my second player controller. Um, so editing those two files will get the, the Neo Geo controls right. Um, I edited it so that the, in Neo Geo the default is that the select button, um, the select button is the, the button to add coin. Whereas in the um, the MAME, I actually had to go in through the GUI and there's a there's a one coin button and you just change that to either first player select or second player select or if you add a if you add a coin button to your controller, you can just set it to be that coin or to be that button. Um, but yeah, uh, super simple setup. Uh, the encoders make it really really easy, and the coding itself like there's not much to it. It's adding a few lines of code to some already existing configuration files and then editing some settings and settings in one of the GUIs. Um, I'm really happy with this. Um, quality seems you know is actually better than I expected. I was expecting the buttons to be pretty bad, um, and and pretty cheap, um, but they. They're pretty responsive. The LEDs are, are good and bright. Um, the buttons look good. I'm eventually gonna move it over from this cardboard box into an actual wooden one. Um, but for right now, I mean, I was playing Double Dragon and some pinball games and whatnot um, all last night. So it's been really good and worked really well and I'm really happy with it.